Welcome to Wingstop. How may I take your order? Yes. I would like 250 chicken sandwiches, 100 fries, 250 atomic bolus wings, 100 Cajun wings, 250 spicy Korean bolus wings, 300 Louisiana wings, 500, 100 Hellion chicken sandwiches, 50 hickory smoked barbecue chicken sandwiches, 100 mild chicken sandwiches. Two hundred chicken tenders with mango habanero, three hundred chicken tenders with hot honey rub, seven hundred Louisiana Vodou fries, two hundred buffalo ranch fries, one hundred Cajun fried corn, four hundred triple chocolate brownies, two hundred veggie sticks, fifty cokes and seventy-five lemonades, please. Um, excuse me, sir. That is way too much food, and there is no way you are ordering all that food. We need to save all that for the customers. Plus that will make you very fat like Nicocado Avocado and it will be super unhealthy for you to have all that. And you could end up with infinite explosive diarrhea and a heart attack. You need to order less. Seriously? Why the hell does this man need all that food? We have been standing there for 30 minutes and it's getting cramped in here because of him. I know right. Pedro. This is already getting ridiculous. We have been waiting here for like 30 minutes and we are getting hungry as hell because of that man taking so long to order. He needs to hurry up already. Oh my god, why does this man have to order all of that food? Is he risking his own life to become Nicocado Avocado or something? He is so greedy and ordering for like 30 minutes. I agree Raphael. He could end up having a heart attack or have infinite explosive diarrhea. Seriously. Look at all those people. He made all the customers wait for like 30 minutes. How retarded of him. Hey! Don't you dare talk to me like that. You should realize refusing to order people's food is illegal. And I will give you all a concussion for this. Now! You idiots better order my food or else I will speak to your manager about this. And I will also blow up the entire wink stop with TNT. Excuse me sir. Do not give me this type of tone. You will not blow up my restaurant with TNT. What you did is a bomb threat, and if you even think about blowing up Wingstop with TNT, then you will go to jail for a long time. Excuse me. Did you just talk back to me? If you keep this up, I will call the police on your ass and get your manager to hear about this. I am not talking back to you. And besides, the police will not do anything to me because you threatened to bomb my restaurant and give people a concussion. And the manager will not do anything to me because you order way too many food. You need to leave some food for the other customers. Yes you were. You were talking back to me. And I do not deserve to have this kind of disrespect. Do you even know who I am? I am Fred Jones. And the world revolves around me. You better order my goddamn food right now or else it's concussion time. Look here sir. You are making me extremely angry for an entitled Scooby-Doo character like you. Look at all the lines. There are nearly hundreds of people standing in line and also outside of the restaurant. I don't care you entitled brat. I am not leaving until you give me my freaking order. So these customers are going to have to wait and I am staying here until you give me my order. Don't you dare call me that. Look, you need to order less. Everyone is getting sick and tired of you just standing there and waiting for you for like half an hour. No, I, won't. I can order whatever the hell I want and I am entitled to do so. I'm not leaving until you give me my food and all of the customers are going to wait whether they like it or not. Look here, sir, are you kidding me with everyone who are waiting for you right now? You can't just order way too much food. You need to save some for the other customers. Yeah. What kind of person are you to be very rude to the cashier and being very greedy to order way too much food? You've been ordering for like 30 minutes and it's ridiculous. Yeah. You can't order that much food like that. You can get yourself fat and it's very unhealthy for you. You could end up getting a heart attack and have infinite explosive diarrhea or even worse. Yeah. I agree with what my husband said. You've been standing here ordering for 30 minutes and we are getting hungry and tired of waiting for you. Hurry up and order less. You are wasting everyone's time. More like you all are wasting my time. 
and you people need to mind your own freaking business. I can give you all concussions and call the police on you for talking back to me. Look here you lunatic. You are very rude to everyone including the cashier, and the world does not revolve around you. You need to accept the fact that you are not ordering all of that food. Everyone has a right point about you. Seriously. If you want all that, then we won't be able to get our orders. This is already getting ridiculous. We've been waiting here for 30 minutes for you to order. You need to listen to the cashier and order less. We're getting very hungry here. Yeah. I agree with my mom. And also, you are an entitled brat and a fake Scooby-Doo wannabe. You are nothing but a rude and mean brat who likes to boss everyone around and gives your gang a concussion 24-7. You have two options. Either you order less and get the heck out of here, or else we will get the manager to kick you out and call the police. You mean entitled brat. How freaking dare you insult me, threaten me, called me an entitled brat, and called me a fake Scooby-Doo wannabe. You are such a little tiny brat who got demoted from her job and turned back into a kid who lives with her red parents. For what you just said to me. Guess what? It's concussion time. Hey. Let me go you mean entitled man. Hey. Hands off my sister or else me and my family will. Why? My body hurts so bad once again. Screw you entitled man. Why? <laughs> That, freaking, does it. I had enough of your crappy behavior. You seriously punched that poor girl in the face, launched her in the wall and got her injured. What the heck is wrong with you? That's it. I'm getting the manager here and telling you about this. I bet he saw how you behaved on the CCTV camera. You are in serious dead meat with him including us right now. This man is definitely done for good. I saw everything that happened on CCTV. I will deal with this man right now. Sir, I cannot freaking believe that you punched that poor girl in the face and put a hole in my wall. Thanks to you. She is suffering a nosebleed and minor injuries because of you. What you did to that girl is child abuse, and I really, really hate people who cause child abuse. Not only that, you've been holding up the line for 30 minutes, being rude to my cashier and customers and refusing to order less. You should realize ordering way too much food can make you fat and we need to save some food for our customers. You are extremely greedy to order all that. People can't get their orders if we take yours. You made hundreds of people wait impatient for 30 minutes because of your behavior. That does it. I will be reporting this to my district manager and you are permanently banned from all Wingstop locations for the rest of your life. For punching that little girl in the face and destroying my restaurant, I am calling the police and you're going to jail. You greedy psychopath man. Oh no. I gotta get out of here before I... Wow. Help. Help. These people are holding me hostage. Quit playing the victim card, you psychopath man. You are going to wait here until the police arrive. If you think we are holding you hostage, then you're dead wrong. We grabbed you and held you down to the ground so you won't get away. Now we will hold you until the police arrive. Have fun getting thrown in jail, you psychopath man. Fred Jones. You are under arrest for punching that little girl in the face and injuring her and you also were holding up the line at Wingstop for 30 minutes. 
you should realize that punching that little girl in the face and launching her across the restaurant is child abuse and ordering way too much food is very unhealthy and can get yourself a heart attack and infinite explosive diarrhea. That's right. And just like what Officer Travis said, you should realize that you need to order less. But no. You were acting very entitled and being very rude to the cashier and the customers. You made the customers wait very impatiently because of your entitled behavior. That's it. For what you did to that little girl, we are taking you to jail. Hold on a minute officers. I want to have a final talk with this man before you take him away. You're nothing but a selfish entitled psychopath man for punching my daughter in the face. You should be ashamed of yourself. My daughter has right points about you and you seriously made her nose bleed and got her body hurt so badly. You know what? I had it with you. I am putting a restraining order on you for punching my daughter. If you step 250 feet between my family, you'll be thrown back to prison. Now goodbye and I don't want to see your psychopath face ever again. Now take this and get thrown in jail. Screw you. Wow. This is what you get for punching my daughter in the face. Now have fun in jail you insane psychopath. Alright, Fred. Get in the police car now. What do you think I will do next? To be continued on the ground. Shut your mouth, Fred. It's okay, Justine. That mean psychopath named Fred Jones is in custody for punching you in the face. Your father will put a restraining order on him so he won't mess with you again after we finish eating. All right, everyone. We apologize about the incident. But don't worry. This man is already arrested and I banned him from every Wingstop location indefinitely so this will never happen ever again. As a huge token of apology and due to that insane psychopath man made you guys wait for 30 minutes, me and my district manager both decided that we are letting you customers get your orders for free and no paying for today. <laughs>